So you're very well spoken. Oh, thank you. And how do you feel about when people try to say like I talk white? You have an extensive <laughs> vocabulary, and they try to associate that <laughs> with uh-huh. whiteness. Um, I feel like that is just a cop out, and that's just you know the continuance of you don't want to give black people the props of being intelligent, Damn. articulate. You don't want to you you want to further dehumanize black folks. So you much rather compare us to white people than to say that we are people. Mm-hmm. You feel me, bro? We make words. Who else is creating words? I mean, in, feel me? That idiom, I mean, bling like, come bling. On. Bling bling. Not me. Lit. Come on, bro. Before, <laughs> no cap. <laughs> no no cap. cap. <laughs> Before that, lit was just literature. Now mm-hmm. it's fucking. It's, it's anything, bro. Come on, like that's that's us. So, yeah, but I they they that. deny that though. But then they use it. They don't want us to use it um, professionally. But then they want to use it any other time in their lives. Period. Yeah. But they want to police us whenever we want to use our vocabulary that we came up with. Like my nigga, come on. That's a fact. What are we doing? So, yeah, nah, I. I sense of your brilliance, man. Your your brilliance. Thank you. It's it's just it's just I don't yeah. I've been getting that my whole life. Like uh I was like bullied in the fifth and sixth grade and shit. And it was prim- primarily because of the way I looked. Like I had wild short braids that stopped right here and my nose was really big. I didn't grow into my nose yet. And I used to have like tucked in shirts and shit. I was really like I mean, I look like a nigga who should have been bullied, I guess. <laughs> I'm about to say, if your brain's stopping back here, yeah. you already know people was coming back here. But I, like, I came from the South, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I was born in Louisiana, and I didn't move up here until, like, first grade. Oh, really? So what I part was, of Louisiana? Uh, Fort Polk, Louisiana. My dad was in the military. Oh, okay. So I was a military brat. We was moving all over the place and whatnot. So I was just like, damn. And that was my, being in Buffalo was my first time in the hood, like, I had never been in the hood before. Like I was in on military bases yeah, military. for ages one through six. seven, eight, six. Yeah. So I was just like, all right, well, I don't know what the fuck a hood is, but I guess we going there. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck a food stamp is. Like I literally thought that was a stamp, my nigga. I thought, I'm like, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> nah, bro, it was a culture shock. I got here. I stopped getting shit for Christmas and I think it said it was tight on money. My parents ended up getting a divorce like two years later, like 2000, oh no, six years later, seven years later, eight years later, 2008, 2007. And um, it was just wild, like trying to fit in and whatnot. And I realized I just couldn't fit in. Like I'm not, I'm not a hood nigga, but That's- I was raised in the hood, like from six, seven, eight onward to 19. So like my life was just like turned upside down and shit. And it was just like going from upper middle class to extremely lower middle class. It was just crazy. Like not fitting in can be a, definitely be a blessing sometimes. It was. Yeah, that's true. I was always known as like the weird nigga who brought his Walkman to school and shit. And I used to have, so I used to have uh, Get Rich or Die trying in there in search of. Bro, I was just playing that yesterday. Yo, that shit is Long fire, day. bro. Like uh, I had the Eminem show in there. I had wild shit, bro. Like, I was going crazy. I flow a tree. Um, I always had music on me and. I, people would make fun of the music I was listening to because I wasn't listening to the Yin Yang Twins. I wasn't listening to David Banner. Mm-hmm. I was listening to, oh, I was listening to D4L. I was listening to the Franchise Boys and shit. Um, <laughs> you wrote that spectacular review on You know it. what I mean? <laughs> like, spectacular when, review. Whenever, yeah, recipes of Shawty Low. But whenever, whenever <laughs> boys want to read that, you know what I mean? That'll never happen because I ain't <laughs> never doing that. <laughs> never again. But um, yeah, so it was just, it was a culture shock. So, um, all that sort of happening and, and it just kind of, I don't know, like the way I spoke has just always been, or the way I talk has always just been like a, a thing. And I used to have like a really bad list. So it was just, it was just L's for me, bro. I was, I wasn't getting no girls. It was crazy. Like I was scaring the girls with my, so that, 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 I was, that was not going down. And then niggas was like, yeah, he, 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 he easy target. So we about to beat his ass. It was just, it was, it was what it was. Man, you, you, you blessed, man. I, should, I mean, I, if you I, heard I, that I mean, story, you heard that. I mean, I guess. Like, bro, <laughs> that's I'm what? looking at it. I'm looking at it from like where it is now, because it's like shit, I got beat up. I got beat up for being smart. Like, yeah, that's, I, yeah. Like, that was a, that was a real it, thing. It, but it got to a point where I was just like, I was like, hell no, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be beating niggas up. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna beat <laughs> niggas up before they beat me up. I was just like, I don't want to fight y'all boys. Like, why can't we just be mans in them? And they was like, yo. What? Nigga, you gay? I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> so I'm like, yo, that's what you got. That's not like an episode of the Boondocks, bro. I'm like, like I'm like, bro, what? I'm like, yo, what is going on? I'm like, y'all niggas don't like friends. Like, I'm telling you, how is what is going 
going on? Not fitting so, in can be a so blessing. So when did it get to the point to where like you were able to start connecting with people? Though? That was like was the music like help buffer that? Um. Well, I had like throughout all this happening, my man's uh, Felix. Uh, I met him, and he was like a really close friend, like sixth grade, seventh grade. And um, that was like the only connect. And then I had, uh, oh, then my, my cousins and whatnot, like Philip and all them boys. But like eighth grade, I ended up getting like my first girlfriend, but that was terrible. He like cheated on me like three or four times. And I was just like, no, please take me back. <laughs> Why and, are you uh, holding his hand in the Yeah, <laughs> I was just like, yo, what's going on? Um, but it was, it was like ninth grade. That's when everything like really, like I grew into myself. My confidence was like skyrocketing for some reason. I think it was because girls actually liked me at Tech. Like, I didn't have to be something I wasn't. They liked this nerdy nigga. And I was like, oh, that's fire. Oh, we lit now, all right. <laughs> I had, like, beads in my hair and shit. So I was just standing out. I was I was <laughs> weird. Think, what era was that? I'm trying to think. Uh, 2009, 2010. 2000, isn't that when uh, 50 and Kanye faced off? Yeah, that was that was the changing of the guard. That was the changing of from, yeah. from being gangster was cool. So to, that, to so the perception the- <laughs> changed like as yeah. a whole. So I didn't have to be some gangster nigga no more. Like I didn't have to live in my big brother's shadow and shit. Um, I could just be my full nerd self, and I embraced it. Like, and I was wearing some wild shit back then. That was back when the the the. The, the new boys and all that yeah, shit was like jeans. really yeah. So I had the skinny jeans. I had the little raccoon tail on my back mm-hmm. pocket. And shit. All was wilding. <laughs> had the Chuck Taylors in the vans. Had the like superhero t shirts and shit. Like, but I never changed the superhero t shirts. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I still wear those to this day. And that was like an element of me of who I was, and I wanted to carry that. So I think it was ninth grade when the perception of who I was just changed. But I think it was because of my perception change. Man, I respect that. I respect your authenticity and you, Thank you. you staying true to you, man. Because your story is dope as fuck. You, you move. You, you're going to that next level of where you spoke it yeah. as a child, and now you're getting there. That's why I say. That's why I say your bus. Because all oh. you can't have, you can't have like Yo. those things. But when without, he said that, I thought the same thing you said. I was like, where did you? I was like, I was getting beat up. There was wilding. Mom, mom, mom. Yeah, you blessed. Man, you you gotta you got <laughs> you gotta have the balance. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know the lows to reach the highs. You feel me? Like, yeah, you blessed because I got shot. At. I didn't get beat up. I was like, damn, bro. Like, That's where I thought you was about to go with it. <laughs> That's crazy, <laughs> bro. I mean, <laughs> I, I, was like, that, I was like, damn, but, bro, that's wild. Yeah, but man, nah, because like I've, I've I've been the kid where you think you the hood nigga and you're trying to fit that element, but it's like, okay, all my friends are dying. Like, yeah. I'm not barely getting in high school. Like, okay, something's have to shift, and I have yeah. to. You gotta find that uh, that real you. Yeah, man. So many kids get lost trying to fit into the crowd, join gangs and shit like that. Like, I didn't know what. Like, that's why I fuck with the people I fuck with so heavily. Like, I fuck with you, Cherry. Same people like Hutch Tech crew. Yeah, man. Like me too. Me all too. my friends, like prior to that, I like was like gang affiliations. Yeah. Same. So it was like I, I didn't know what real friends was. I knew what a gang was, but I didn't really understand like friends and like being yourself until yeah. like I got to tech and started meeting the people. And you found yourself. That. Yeah. You were liberated. That's why I respect you. That's why I say you're blessed. You're alive. You, you know what I mean? You went through your struggles. And you got to where you like, at. And through 